Hello kids, as you have done with the portraiture of Frida Kahlo till this step in our next in our last session. Now we'll continue with this, and this is the revision video for the Tana Portrait Summer Camp sixth session. Let's start with this. <clears throat> First, we'll use a light brown color for face. So. This is my light brown. And we'll start from a corner. Always hold your uh, oil pistol close to tip and move your hand in one direction. Okay. Like this. We need to shade the entire face only on the edges, not in the middle part. So like this, keep your hand quite light, don't apply too much pressure. And this side also will do the same. We'll apply this shade here in the corner of eyes. That this section appears to be dark. Then bring this shade downside. Use your hand very light for this. Do not apply much pressure. Keep your hand light. Then we'll apply here a shadow below nose. If you have the lines of graph, you can erase that lines. Like this, you also apply shadow below lips. Then with a little bit of shade on this part, not much. We'll use this light brown below neck to define shadow and depth in this section. We'll shade this net completely with this, but apply more pressure <clears throat> below this jawline and keep your hand light when shading the remaining space. We'll shade ears using the same color. After this, we'll use peach color. If you don't have this color, you can use any color too, which is quite similar to this one. Then first use it very light and fill all the white space. Now, after this, we'll blend this color with this light brown. So you need to apply a little bit more pressure on this area.
okay like this you need to blend all light brown tones with pitch color you apply this same color tone here on neck and then we'll color ears in similar way <clears throat> after this uh, we color lips so for that pick a light pink tone and a red First, apply light pink over here. Always hold your crayon slanted, not like this. But when you hold it quite slanted, it gives you a fine lines. So that is easy to cover this small space. Then apply red color. Keep your upper lip quite dark as comparison to the lower one. Lower will be quite light. We'll apply the same color tone below in this part. Define the cloth inside this robe and the drapery. So for this, I'm using same color combination. First, I'm using red. And over to this, I'm using dark pink, or you can also use a magenta color tone. After this, we'll color <clears throat> this necklace and earpiece. So for this, I'm using yellow and light brown. First apply light brown here. in this section also and then use yellow color <laughs> now after this we'll blend this color together using crayon So for this, for blending face, we'll use a same pitch color crayon. Here I'm using pitch color tone of wax crayon for blending this oil pastels. And as I illustrated in the previous session, that uh, the, the blending of oil pastel using wax crayon, this is the technique that I usually prefer. Uh, it helps us to blend the oil pastel very easily. and also make the portrait look very smooth and give it a realistic effect. Okay. And in a similar way, we blend this entire face, neck, using same wax crayon. As we're done with blending the face, now we'll move forward and blend lips for that you can use a uh, dark red or deep red color or maroon color first blend this upper part and then blend this lower lip after blending you can apply one more layer of color to make this upper lip appears to be quite dark And we'll use a dark brown color here. And 
define a shadow below this necklace and few slant lines like this. Now we'll color the background. So for that here, I'm using a dark brown and a combination of red along with this to match the different section. <clears throat> Just like here on clothes, on lips and on flower, we have this red and pink combination. So to balance the harmony, uh, use the same color tone. So here I'm using a brown color tone and just mark quite bold strokes in the background. As we have done with the base layer of brown, now we'll apply red in similar manner. Okay. And uh, remember that you need to cover all the gaps. Do not leave any white gap between the background and the your portrait or your drawing. Okay. You need to cover all gaps in the similar way. Move your red, apply the stroke in one direction, just like the way you have applied brown. And just cover this entire space in similar manner. We'll do the same for both the side. And after this, we'll use our crayon for blending. And with this, this portraiture of Frida Kahlo is complete. So practice this.